What's up, everybody? I'm Sling and Hop. We're back once again playing some more Hearthstone. Um, you know, just kind of dicking around in, uh, in ranked. Last few episodes, I was playing the, the Token Druid, but, like, I think I'm missing something, and it's probably the Bitter Tide Hydra. It's just that extra finishing power for it. So we're going to switch over. We're going to play some of the Warlock again. I really enjoyed this deck. I've been playing it a lot outside of recording. Still trying to have a 3,000 gold month, which for today I'm 70 gold off the pace because my quest was watch somebody else win so I can get a pack, which is a great gold value, but unfortunately doesn't give you any gold. So, I have to win like 21 more games today to get back on track, but it's fine. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop into a few games. I've been playing, like I said, I've been playing this Warlock deck a lot recently. It, I went on a couple nice little win streaks with it. Um, it's just really good against a lot of things. And even the stuff that it's not great against, you can still win, which is nice. And it looks like we drew our Kelsa right off the bat, which is amazing. Um, so we definitely throw the Blood Reaver. And then I'm kind of conflicted as to what to throw when you've got the Kelsa. It kind of depends. If this dude is a Pirate Warrior, I think I want to keep the Voidwalker. If he's not, I think I want to throw both. So I think I'm going to keep the Voidwalker, just in case. Alright. Don't hate seeing these two in the hand together. I also don't hate seeing this with, like, none of these. But let me tell you, this deck loves discarding Bone Mares. I can't tell you how many times I've discarded freaking Bone Mares in this deck. Um, yeah, we're just going to coin out Kelsa. Easy peasy. You could make an argument to play the Void Walker, but I think the the damage we'll take to our face is uh, is worth it to just get that kill stuff out of there. Upgrade's a little annoying, but I don't think it's anything we can't deal with. I think we're definitely playing this. I guess the question is, are we playing the Arceus Veteran or the Malkazar Zimp? Malkazar Zimp is pretty nice here. Yeah. Which gives us a lot of health on the board. He's got enough to take out one of my dudes, but not both. So. Oh, man. Definitely gonna kill this. Alright, that's not the worst. That is slightly the worst, but. Do I wanna play this or do I wanna just play this? This is more damage on the board. Unless we can safely remove that, so. draw some despicable dreadlords they'd be nice also from some freaking blood cell horses so we can remove his weapons those would be nice as well oh we're going super aggro I don't blame him I think I'm gonna be able to stabilize that especially if I can hit also serenite chain gang is really nice here hey look a bone mare that's just begging to be discarded by doom guard in this situation I may not play the doom guard Ugh, I'm kind of tempted to not play this Flame Imp either. Not sure I want to give him that extra 3 damage right now. Especially when I've got a nice board presence. Let's play a little safe. He went super aggro last turn, which makes me think he's somewhat close to winning the game. like a void walker or a chain gang I'd feel a little bit better about it. Right, five damage on board off of winning the game. Well not anymore. That is nice. Still don't think I'm gonna play that flame up. We're down to eight life. Probably the last time we can life tap as well. Scared of like double Kokron, 
uh, Kokron into Arcanite Reaper. I'm scared of a lot of things right now. What now? Agreed. What is now? That was aggressive. Do I just win the game here if I play the Doom Guard? Well, I can't play the Doom Guard now, so. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, I wouldn't have won. And here's hoping he doesn't have 6 damage in his hands. He has 6 damage in his hand. Well, fart nuggets! Freaking exactsies. And that was why I was scared of playing the flame imp. Scared of the life tap. But I guess if I hadn't done that last life tap, we would have probably gotten there. It's annoying. But, shake it off, get another one, hopefully recover a little bit. Man, if I could have just, like, seen Serenite Chain Gang, that would have won me the game. Egg drop soon. Your soul shall be mine. Chuck it all in hopes of getting Kelseth. We did not... Get a Malchazar's imp though, which is nice. It means we don't have to waste our Arceus for that veteran. Because especially against like the priest decks, I really don't like not having a turn one play because there's no two drops in the deck. So if you don't have a one drop in your opening hand, you likely don't have. It's, you know, you may not have a one drop in your year. Yeah. Anyways, uh, actually, I think I'm gonna draw a card here. Now that he's used that, I'm definitely going to play this Lifeline next turn. This will tell us, if he's got another one that's not uh, Zacchaeus Priest, or Kazakus Priest, he's Big Priest, or Inner Fire Combo. Well, or we can just learn about it like that. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, I really need Wind Fury there. that. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. Especially if he gets like two obsidian statues right here. Or are you Sarah? That's fine too. Yep, we're done here. My plan with the with the, the fledgling was to get Wind Fury and then kill the one one, but then we didn't get Wind Fury and then it was just bad. All right, well, uh, let's hopefully win a game. That'd be nice. We either have a mirror match or we've got the 
like a hand lock version alive. variant. I am your nightmare. I am your nightmare. Well, he hasn't thrown anything back yet, which means he's either he th that card is either Kelseth or he's more of a hand locky kind of thing. Uh, that card's probably kills us. Which is just my luck. I've been seeing a lot of dudes with the legend back and the shiny hero, which is annoying, to say the least. He kept the Voidwalker, not the Kelso. That is interesting to me. Do I want to coin out this councilman? I kind of do, I think. Especially with, like, all these one-drops in my hand. And the chain gang. likely. So many possibilities. My man's got his own chain gang. You could talk me into this vicious fledgling. What does his turn look like next turn? Uh, it could be Doom Guard. Let's go ahead and play it safe. Kind of two for one ourselves there, but second chain gang. It's not annoying at all. seeing that bow go away. All right, we actually got a win. You know what, let's go ahead and get one more game just because that second game kind of over pretty quick. W shards on turn four, turn three, I can't remember. Did you coin out the barns or did you play it? Anyway, W shards that early is kind of tough to beat. But, got a win. It's always nice, I enjoy winning. Oh yay, we drew our patches. Ugh, so annoying. Really hope to draw a different one drop because I don't love playing this on turn one, like just playing them out. Playing that out against them. And I also like it with Dark Shark Councilman later. Ooh, 
we got a nice little mug thing here. Alright, we got both of our Serenites. This is backstab dagger if I've ever seen it. And that's exactly what happened. They've always got the backstab, man. It's never, never not backstab. Yeah. I think it's this is going to be difficult for him to remove. Like, he needs both of the, both of the... Oh no, he only needs one. He needs the, the charge pirate, but then I get to kill the charge pirate, the patches, and take his dagger. All for this card, so... for him to get through both of those right now, so. Well, he did it. I was about to say, wouldn't it have been better to do this, because then you could have taken that out too, but he was able to do it, because, you know, both SI7 agents is a thing. Do I want to play Doomguard this turn? I'm leaning towards yes, just to clean up the board a little bit. I kind of wish it was like this in the flame up, but... I think Blood Reaver Gul'dan is our best bet in this matchup. Hit, hit. Nope. I mean, that's fine too. My way, he kept four people, but whatever. best we can next turn to clean up his board, which is probably not going to happen. Ugh, a bone mared cane seems terrible. That's also annoying. And, and by cane, I mean Karen. Oh, there's that Kelsa. A million years late. Ran out the flame imp instead of this, but I don't know. I feel like we're just gonna lose to Bone Mare here anyway, so. Well, that's certainly not it. Not it. Two with the, with the death rattle, or bring him back up to a four or five this turn. Probably leaving him the four two with the death rattle, because then he either trades it in here. or he leaves it up, and he wastes one point of damage on my face. Well, it's probably neither of it's going to my face this turn. He's gonna kill the Doom Guard, but. I need to draw Gul'dan in the next two turns and not lose. Doomguard. Doomguard. Man, this 
card would have been great a lot earlier. Oh, my man's taking six to the face. Oh, that seems pretty good. Alright, is there any way out of this? I don't really think there is. Nope. No, there is not. Man. Going one and three. It's always great. Anyways. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button down below as well as subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. Um, are you excited for kobolds and catacombs? I certainly am. Anyways, once again, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.